Every nine seconds, a woman is abused or assaulted in this country. Every nine seconds, this is going on. And there is this Twitter trend that is happening now. It's hashtag why I stayed and hashtag why I left. It's a campaign, confessions of women who have experienced domestic violence. And what you realize when you read these tweets is that it's a very, very complicated issue. So I want to explain to you why I stayed. I was in an abusive relationship many, many years ago as a young woman. I've talked a little bit about this. And it started out, I love this guy. It started out with we would have a fight and he'd just sort of grab my arm. And I, you know, I, I didn't think a lot about it. Um, and then it turned into pushing me against the wall. And it, then it went beyond that to actually um, taking his hand and f grabbing my face and saying, um, I could ruin your career if I wanted to and no one would want you. Now, this is going on. I'm a smart woman. A lot of people say, well, who would stay in that situation? Somebody who maybe doesn't have the wherewithal to get out, the means to get out. I had that. I had a job at the time. And I kept in this relationship, and I've done a lot of thinking about why, and I think part of it was fear. Uh, I was scared of him and scared if I tried to leave, something worse could happen to me. Part of it was guilt because every time we'd have a fight, he would then start crying and say, I promise I won't do it again. And I would feel like maybe I contributed somehow to this. And they, they're saying this about Ray Rice's wife, you know, that, you know, takes two to tango. Um, and then there was the night that uh, I we shared an apartment and he threw me into a um, shower naked in scalding water. And then he threw me outside into the hallway. We lived in an apartment building and I hid in a stairwell for two hours until he came again crying and said, I promise I won't do this again. And I continued to stay in that relationship until I was offered a job in another state. And that's where I felt I had the ability to get away. So when people talk about domestic violence, it is really, really a complicated issue. It's not so easy to just get away. You think it would be, but it is not. Um, having said that, if my daughter Lily, who's now 21, was in an abusive relationship, even if she thought she loved this man, I'd say, go. Just go. I, we didn't have shelters when this was happening to me and there was no hotline. I'd say, call the hotline. If you're going through this, get yourself to a shelter. But by all means, tell somebody what's going on. Let somebody know. Um, that's just my experience with it. And I just know that it's rampant in this country. And we all have to um, accept the fact that it's, it's not just an issue with the NFL. It's an issue in all of our lives. And until we take it seriously, more and more women are going to get abused. No question about it.